Okay, in this video we're just going to do a quick sort of price comparison and price breakdown between the DIY CF Express B card that we made in the um, video, I'll link up in the corner, that we made in a different video, and an off-the-shelf version. So obviously there's some differences between the between the two because the card I've made myself is a one terabyte card, but I'll just try and make it as fair as possible with examples that are you know currently on different websites at the moment. So essentially between the two the one i've done the comparison with is the lexar 128 gig card and the reason i've kind of done that is because it was the one that came with the camera so it's the recommended card for the camera the one i've made is more or less the same kind of speeds as this and i've done some speed tests in a different video which i'll link up in the corner um so yeah we'll start off with this card and this one is essentially at the time of recording this about 130 pounds so that's about 150 dollars give or take and you know that's obviously all in you buy the card pop it into the camera it's done and with this one the one that we put together it was made up of two parts so we've got the case and we've got the uh the N nvme drive that's inside it so we break it down the drive inside is a wd sn sn740 m2 2230 ssd drive and when i bought it that cost me it was just over 49 pounds it was 49.25 and the outer part of it the uh, card case i got that for 19 pounds 41 so in total uh, for a one gigabyte nvme drive and the case we're looking at uh, 6866 was the total that I paid for it and um, I, di I did get it from AliExpress so it was um, you know it's about as cheap as you're going to get really but um, I kind of factored that in a little bit later so you know on the price side of it we've effectively made like a one terabyte card for almost half the price of an off the shelf 128 gig card there um, and just to try and do a slightly fairer comparison I, I the cheapest one terabyte card I could find. Um, I just looked on Amazon and they, they do the Sabrent card and that came in about £265 or you know just over $300 say for a similar spec card. So that's a equivalent one terabyte card to this one. Uh, so effectively price wise you're saving yourself about £200 by making one of these DIY NVMe sort of SSD CF Express cards. Um, the next thing I was going to talk about was kind of the, the time and obviously in terms of time that's where these ones are always going to win because you just buy them and you know get it from Amazon or whatever you've got it three to five days you don't have to pay for delivery or you can have it next day if you want to pay for delivery you know so you can basically just buy whatever you like get it within a couple of days for example pop it straight in the camera and you're sort of good to go whereas the AliExpress card, um, it it took for it came in two packages through two different sellers, and the from the first to the last one to arrive basically took eight days, which is actually pretty quick considering considering where some of these parcels come from. But you know there is potential that you can have packages that get held up in customs, or they could struggle to get in and out of particular countries. And I have had that happen in the past. So, you know, realistically, I, I usually say the wait is sort of, it can be between 20 and 30 days, you know, on the on the long end of it. But a lot of this stuff now does come a lot quicker. So, you know, it's not, um, it's not wildly different. But the other thing you need to consider in terms of time is the fact that it, you've got the time that it took us to kind of put this card together, which admittedly i'd say it's really you know even if you're going pretty slow it probably still only takes about 30 minutes um but you've got to obviously uh sort of factor in that time and obviously that could be billable time that you could be doing something else yeah with so yeah it's worth just kind of considering that as well the the next kind of um point i'd break it down to is maybe reliability so i mean the jury's still out on that a little bit because i haven't had the card for long enough you know it's still working i've had no issues with it so far so they both check the boxes in terms of that at the moment but uh one thing potentially to look at is uh, you know things like returns so usually cf express cards or sd cards in general you know camera cards 
they usually come with a, a fairly generous returns window as long as you get them through like a reputable, reputable kind of company. And the thing is with um, the AliExpress stuff, you know, once it's arrived, you've checked it works and, you know, beyond that, you're not really going to get a refund out of uh, a lot of these things. So, um, you know, if you if you bought these pieces from Amazon, you might be a little bit more likely to uh, get a return. But even then, the return window is probably going to be pretty short. So, you know, that that's worth um, that's worth thinking about if um, you want that kind of longer return window. It's uh, yeah, it's possibly possibly worth going with the off the shelf card. But um, yeah, I think um, <laughs> sort of overall, like as a bit of a conclusion, the this card here, the, um, the the sort of homemade DIY job, that's really it's offered me a really nice solution for um, for shooting video formats that otherwise I'd generally have to go out over USB to an SSD drive. And you know, don't get me wrong, that's that's a workable solution. But a lot of the times, I I do like shooting just with the camera. So um, yeah, it's given me you know like an option of a very expensive CF Express card that I typically probably wouldn't have bought for that price. And um, I'm potentially considering getting either another one of um, this same card or getting a, a two terabyte version just to sort of add to add to my cards because so far it's been really useful. So. Um, yeah, it's definitely definitely worth considering, you know, looking at that. And, you know, obviously I've got a few different cards, so I've got kind of fallback. So if a card fails, you know, I can move on to another card. Um, if it was just I had one CF Express card, I probably would get an off the shelf just because of that reliability um, sort of factor of it. You know, I've had these cards for years. I know they work and, you know, they, they are reliable, but... Um, yeah, it's um, it's worth sort of thinking about those different factors before you kind of jump in and do it. So hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.